What up? It's your boy, the Incredible Man, and I'm back at it again. And this time, I just seen One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 10. Okay, and let's just talk about this, man. It's happening. All of the greatness that happened in the manga is happening, man. It's starting now. A lot of people was, you know, they was kind of iffy about last week's episode, man. You know, it's like because everything ha happened off camera. And um, I was talking to this other dude. And um, and we we were talking and going back and forth about the episode of last week's last week's episode, and um, he was like, "Well, he would have loved to see Watchdog Man versus Garo," and I think I think everybody would have loved to see that fight, man. That fight would have been absolutely fantastic because w w we only got the conclusion, man. I mean, we we just seen that Garo wasn't dead and Watchdog Man was unharmed at all, but. I would have loved to see it happen. We we didn't we didn't see it happen, so it happened off 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 screen. But it happened in a different panel in the manga. We didn't see it in the manga either. We just saw the end result like we did in anime. So, but you know, everybody was like, well, not everybody, but a couple people was like, you know, I didn't. Everything happened off camera. I mean, all of the good stuff happened off camera. I would like to see some of the stuff on the camera. But like I told them, man. The goodness is coming. The greatness is here, man. It just started in this episode. Bad thing is, though, I mean, it ended like right when it started to pick up. But next week's episode is gonna hit. It's gonna hit it, man. I'm telling you, as as from from a manga reader to an anime only watcher, man, you, it's it's picking up. Just give it just a little bit more time because next week's episode is really gonna pick up. Then you're gonna be like, okay, wow, I see why the other stuff happened off panel and off camera, man, because. They needed to save the budget for the stuff that's coming up. The stuff that's coming up is huge, man. But let's talk about this episode. Okay, we got, um, okay, we got the Monster Association, um, uh, not barging in, but kind of uh, sneaking into the Hero Association to say and claim that they wanted their own society, but which really was a ploy to attack the hero uh, executives so they could uh i guess kill them and get them out of the way and kind of just rampage on their own but it did not work because they had what's his name uh black luster i think i think this is his name anyway black Lu i think is is black luster and um he came in there and just defeated the monster like it was nothing so dude dude strong too dude strong too but um that happened um i don't know this episode was it was very it was very mellow to begin with we just got information and everything and then at the end it kind of picked up um we got uh metal knight um talking to the child emperor about you know let's not save the kid which is wow and they gave him a s rank uh title but Let's not save the kid. Let's find out that since we know their location and find their hideout and stuff. And let's just nuke them. Dude, there's still a kid in there. Granted, I mean, yeah. But anyway, that's something totally different. Because if I talk about that too, it's going to jump into spoiler territory. But uh, what else happened after that? Um, we see a glimpse of um, other people when they're um, talking about when they when every everybody finds out about um, the Monster Association and the Hero Association going to war, I think in like three days. So we see Metal Bat in bed and we see some of the hero, not heroes, some of the martial artists from the tournament um, in the hospital, you know, recuperating. And they're all a little, you know, the martial artists are a little traumatized and, and scared and wondering if the heroes could win. But I think that's all that, that really happened. It really wasn't nothing major. Okay, let's talk about Garo and the good stuff, man. This is This is the good stuff. Uh, I'm so glad we get to see the kid again. I mean, it's been a, it's been a couple episodes that we haven't seen the kid, so I, I I like seeing the kid. And when the kid comes around, we see a different side of Garo, man. We see a side of Garo that, um, in my opinion, we can easily uh, we can easily call him just Garo. He doesn't have to be the monster. I mean, the hero hunter at that point. When the kid's around, he's just Garo, man, because the kid always makes Garo doesn't really make him do anything. It, it it's we just see a different side of Garo when the kid's around. But this episode, man, when the heroes surrounded him, he can feel like their intent when he was inside the building. And he came out and he started talking to them and stuff and he was like, You guys aren't hero and he decided to stay stay in here and, and shut the door 
and protected the kid. Dude, scenes like that make Garo so likable, man. I know a lot of people may like him as just the hero hunter. It's like, oh, well, he's he's attacking the hero, so that's it. it. But I like him when he's just Garo, man, and he's, and he's protecting the kid, and he doesn't really just... To me, man, to me, I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but to me, from this episode and, and with him dealing with the kid and the stuff that he was saying towards the, the heroes that was trying to attack him, Garo seems so much like Stain to me, man. Now, not a huge comparison, but because, you know, Stain actually killed people. Garo hasn't killed any anybody yet, but Stain actually killed people. And that's Stain comes from My Hero Academia for all of those that don't know or haven't seen My Hero Academia. Stain is a is a is a villain from My Hero Academia. But they have such a comparison to me, you know, like Stain was still on that Stain was on that same kick that Garo's on that, you know, like where he told those guys they, they aren't heroes because heroes don't do it for the money and the fame, man. And St and that was Stain Stain's whole whole thing. You know, like heroes don't do this for this for the money or the fame. They do it because they want to save people. And in that instance where he said that, he, he just really kinda shined like Stain to me. But if I'm going to make that comparison, I also have to make the same comparison as that Saitama and Midoriya are kind of like the same. Saitama's in a rut right now, but before he joined the Hero Association, he was saving people all on his own, and that's what a hero done. He he didn't need the fame. He didn't he didn't he didn't um well first of all he didn't get any fame because they thought he was just a a, a, a hentai because he was running around saving people and not being a part of the Hero Association, but. A hero doesn't need the fame or the power or the money to be to be a hero. And that's that was Stain's whole thing. And that's what and I feel like that's what Garo's giving off now. And that's what Midoriya felt like. And that's what Saitama said before he joined the Hero Association. And he still feels that way. It's just that he you know, Saitama's super strong and he doesn't really have any competition right now. But let's talk about the fight that started with the heroes, man, because I I kind of ventured off somewhere that I didn't intend to go. But we have, let me let me see if I can run through these heroes real quick and find their names. Okay. We have Class A, Rank 8, Death Gatling. Class A, Rank 10, Stinger. Then we have Class B, Rank 6, Wildhorn. Class A, Rank 27, Smile Man. We have... Ha. Class B, rank 21, Megane. <laughs> and Class A, rank 36, Chain Toad. And Class B, rank 43, Blam Blam. And Class B, rank 99, Shooter. Now, these are some pretty strong heroes because they're all Class A and B rank. Now, they're rather, whether if it's like high rank or low rank, because you know, we got like 99 and 43 and 6 and stuff. So, the, the, the numbers vary, but like they're pretty high class heroes because they're all A and B rank heroes. So, now, from what we got in this episode, the fight scenes and everything, it was actually okay. I mean, we knew that it was going to, we really wasn't going to dive into a full fight at this moment because uh, it, it, we knew it was coming to an end. We had to, we had to get all of the information that we, we needed in, um, in the earlier parts of the episode so the ending was just a tease to the fight but the moments that we got where Garo was diving and jumping straight at him now they, they kind of got the best of Garo so far and I mean and that's only because he was already injured and hurt but I gotta admit these heroes are showing their mental man some of these heroes look kind of cool and they're actually doing their stuff and they're holding their own against Garo but it's a hurt Garo he's not he's not a hundred percent right now but Man, I want to talk about it so much more, but if I do, it's going to jump into spoiler territory because I read the manga, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to end it right here, man, because if I keep talking about it, it was a good fight, though. It was, it, so far, it's a good fight, but if I keep talking about it, it's going to jump into spoiler territory, man, and I can't do that, man. But this is your boy, Nick Incredible. Don't forget to smash that like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out.